have these over here set up to enable different sounds. These are my two mixer boards. You get these by clicking these, clicking on the little speaker down here. Or if you can't find it, you go to Start, Settings, Control Panel, and go to Sounds and Audio Devices. And right here, you'll find Place Volume Icon in the taskbar. In my case, that's checked. Make sure that's checked, and then do Apply. And you will have a little speaker down there, and you double click on that, you will get record control, or actually get the play control. And then to get the record control, you click prop properties, and then you go to recording and click OK, and that's how you get get the recording control up here. Uh, play control controls the whole entire output from the various uh, I.O. on your sound card. Over here is play control, which is the overall output of all these over here, and then the rest of these are your channels. Wave controls uh, what you hear on YouTube, your system sounds. Um, it refers to the wave output, i.e. the actual real-life sounding sounds that come out of your computer. MIDI is the MIDI synthesizer I was talking about on your sound card, which is you know, it sounds like an old DOS video game. CD audio controls the input output from your CD player. Line in is the one that we're most concerned with. As you can see, I have that all the way up. Uh, I prefer to usually have my inputs all the way up in my uh, out devices that are outputting to those inputs lower to cut down on distortion levels. So I'm not overdriving the input and causing too much undue distortion on something and last but not least is microphone which as you can see I have it unmuted because that's what I'm using right now and then up here is our play control and you have record master which allows you to record everything on your computer but my computer had the, the sound card I have has a certain flaw that won't let me record microphone and wave all together MIDI which records the synthesizer on the sound card CD audio which records from your CD player uh, line in which records from the line in jack on the sound card microphone which records from your mic and wave which records the wave sounds that are played back on your computer um, I have microphone checked right now but I'm going to check line in when I go to do recording and I'm going to have line in unmuted so then I can monitor it and I'll probably get into that later when I start talking about how I did some of those Legion of Rockstars style videos that I did because this is the line in mute button is a key in that it's sort of a glitch in the sound system where you can shut off the monitoring system and you can't hear anything you're playing especially if you're using a synthesizer like I use for most of the tracks alright let's skip these back over here and open up Reaper and then we'll get it all set up and I can start uh, recording the tracks that we're going to record. We're going to set the beats per minute down here where it says BPM. So we go 92.414 beats per minute. This is going to be Hermit from 2006 demo that I did. And let's go ahead and set the line in. plugged in straight into the line in. Um, I'm ready to go. I've got it set to uh, it's a Yamaha PSR 275 set to patch number 109 standard drum kit. Uh, I've got the reverb level set to 95 
and time to arm up and get ready to record. Okay, right now I'm going to be recording the bass track. Uh, I'm just using the something different from what I did on the original recording. In the original, I was using my Segovia or my BC Rich, but I decided to get experimental this time. We're using the uh, Fender Mustang, so it's all short scale on this bugger, Jaguar, and Mustang. Let's get started recording. the lead guitar track. Uh, what I'm running, again, I've got the Fender Jaguar with the cool rails in it. I've got a nice uh, super gainy channel set up with delay, heavy reverb, and I've got the rhythm circuit cranked way out, so i got neck pickup, nice full soulful tone. I've got the lead circuit set up with the uh, bridge pickup on, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay down the tracks over the top. Yeah. <laughs> 